Ladies, I called back. King in the potok potok. That I wanted her back. And she said she has moved on. Wow. She says she has moved on after wow. three days. Wow. Okay. Anything? That was all. A shop with? That was all. Hmm. What's your similar no What? Dear fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Gloria here, and I am super glad, super excited to be filming another video today. In today's video, as you can see from the title, I have my friend Dia behind the camera, who is going to be sharing his life experience with us as to how he handled depression in a relationship and all of that juicy, juicy gist that you don't want to miss out on. So stay tuned and stay blessed. So welcome back, like I said earlier, my guest is behind the camera, although he told me he has been fidgeting, he has been scared, although we already jumped and, sh and shook it, hey, shake, shook, shook it off. <laughs> so he already shook off all the tension, and he's still a little bit scared, but then he's going to do just fine. So guys, with Jesus' God, Jesus's gladness in our hearts, let us bring our guests, on screen walk fast walk fast don't delay us <laughs> welcome to time out with gloria i am so glad you are here i'm glad you <coughs> graced my my channel with your presence kindly right. introduce yourself to my viewers hello everybody my name is um prince joe give us your full name <laughs> give us your full name adeniro joseph Thank you. He's actually a prince in reality. That's why I asked yeah, for the phone right. name. So, Prince Joe, welcome, welcome, <coughs> welcome to Time Out with Gloria. Thank you. We are so glad you are here. Looking all fresh. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Jesus boy looking good in the... Uh, look for the deer on his body yourself. Don't stress me. All right. So, let's go. Let's swing right into business. Yeah. Handling depression in a relationship. Hmm. Mm. This is a big one, guys. Okay. Odi, Odi. So what do you have for us? <clears throat> uh, well, <clears throat> a lot of things. Okay. Uh, but to start with, mm. I want to say that um, <clears throat> depression is depression. Mm. It depends on how you react to it. Mm. So there is no um, kind of um, mix up depression. There is just one depression. So it depends on how you react to it. You can't say that the amount of depression is different from no depression. It is mm. the same depression. They just come in different forms. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. Continue. I'm listening. So, um, <clears throat> I'll be speaking on um, my life experience as regards my past relationship. Mm. And um, I want to say that um, it has been God all the way. Mm. No, no matter what you face in life, you have to be conscious that there is God. Somewhere, somewhere. God factor, very important. Exactly. <clears throat> and so, story, story. Story. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm a lover boy, if you don't know. Ooh, and, uh, look and at I, that. <laughs> 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 and I, I regard myself as an extremist. Mm. Someone that, you know, go extreme. If I love something, I will love it to the extreme. Wow. If I'm eating something, I will to the extreme. Yeah. <laughs> If wow. I'm taking something, I'll take it to the extreme. So everything oh, I do wow. is always to the extreme. If you so, love so, Jesus, you love him to the extreme. Exactly. Wow. So, in my relationship, my past relationship, or my personality has been so extreme. But, well, I let me say that um, I started a relationship because of, you know, pure pressure and all. Because mm. um, after my secondary school, you know, my friends were having girlfriends and boyfriends so mm. i felt alone mm. i was like ah, let me to see how it is so but then <coughs> when <laughs> when i saw the way it was and it 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 hit me so bad oh wow in what and sense I, I was given breakfast you know. ah ooh. i was having breakfast ooh. For, <laughs> for one week what? the relationship was one week wow wow Seven days. Wow. You, you even know the <laughs> one week wow. relationship. One week relationship. And I was not even depressed. I was I was fine. Mm. I didn't feel so 
because I wasn't expecting much because I just started. Mm. The expectations so, were not high yet. Exactly. But then, when I started to, you know, grow mm. and uh, meet people, get exposed to some things, and um, I fell in love again. Okay. So, this is the beginning of the depression. Again, again, drum rolls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you see this relationship where I'll be mentioning the name. You can just give. A name or an alphabet, in case you have to like okay. mention. Yeah. Um, Miss A or Miss D or Miss F. Miss A. Okay. You know, she's she's a spiritual person. Oh, spiritual sisters. So that I means that um, that that is to tell you that even spiritual sisters still deserve breakfast. Deserve breakfast or serve breakfast. They serve breakfast. Spiritual brothers serve breakfast too. But then let's proceed. <laughs> <laughs> so I was up so. Miss A, she, mm. she's a spiritual sister, sister mm -hmm. you know. Um, that time, when I, my, you know, chasing God was not that um, tangible. Mm. There ain't intention so, about it yet. Yes, you know, this call to author is norms and is sent to you. So, I gave my life to Christ just because of I don't know, people were, were doing know, it. It felt right it. at the moment. Exactly. So I felt the, the emotions, the emotions led me. The, the people were going. So it not feel like I was the only one. Yeah, you were left out. I needed to join the train. I needed to join the train. Like, okay, people yeah. say, oh, wow, I'm a pony, you're a Christian. My mom was in Cork. I said, nah. I'm a pony. I was in Cork. I'm a pony, you're a Christian. Well, I felt on top of the water. Mm. But now we do run this town. Mm -hmm. okay. But deep inside me, mm. I knew that no, I'm not. Mm. So I met this spiritual sister. But I still have that knowledge that it's God and them. Um, you had the basic knowledge. Exactly. Okay. Because my family, I grew up from a um, Christian background. All right. So, All right. so <clears throat> I still have basic, basic knowledge. So I met this sister, you know, and um, she's a very spiritual sister. And um, it is expected that in a Christian relationship, it must, it must be godly, you understand? And then um, there are some things that are expected to be set aside and be cancelled in this Christian relationship. So, when I got to, to this <coughs> relationship, I, you know, like I said, I'm <coughs> extremist. Mm -hmm. So, when I got to this, this relationship, I, you know, it started and then it was... It was sweet in the beginning. Oh, it was wow. sweet in the beginning. You know, always like, okay. But then it's not a bit of real sweet eventually. Exactly, exactly. Like, why is it coming today? You know, um, have you eaten? Did you drink water? Did you. Do you remember to breathe? Do you remember to breathe? Did you sleep where? Did you close uh, your eyes while sleeping? I saw you. When, there was, <laughs> when, we lo when, we, when we said goodbye the other night, I still saw you posted on your status. Ah, ah. How We said goodbye, so. <laughs> So, wow. So it was very, very, you know, wow. sweet and, you know, at the beginning. At the beginning. And then we are always um, into sharing of um, scriptures, you know. But me, when she shares me the scriptures, I will just look at her. Okay, read it. This one. At least, maybe I don't see her. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw um, that. I saw the scriptures. Marina. Before that, thank you very much for sending that. I, I, I really appreciate, appreciate you. It. God bless you. <laughs> but what does it tell me? It was not that um, it was not that deep. So I was following the train and following mm. the train and following the train. So one day and um, okay, one day never come. So um <clears throat> let's say this uh, just on um, Valentine's Day. Okay, what year was that? On Valentine's Day. 2018. Oh wow. On Valentine's Day. I you know, like I said, I'm an instrument, so I Sacrifice a lot of things in the relationship. Mm. To say that um, it's not pride. It's not pride. I do <coughs> almost. I do more than my partner when it comes to relationship because I give it everything. So on Valentine's Ladies, Day, are you are you listening? So on Valentine's Day, so okay. Valentine's Day, I bought you know a lot of things. I bought like eight thousand. Yeah, mm. bought of gifts for my you know, girlfriend. Your no, mistake. Exactly, minus A. So, 8,000. <laughs> so, 
And um, my friends were like, ah, Joe, how far? 8,000 Naira. Are you normal? Like, this girl, and it's actually a long distance relationship. Oh. So, this girl, you don't know what she's doing, where she is. Mm. <laughs> I pity you. That laughter, okay. So, I was, I was confronting my friends, like, ah, is this your relationship? Mm. Is my, ah, what is wrong with you? You know, me say, you know, get girlfriend. You know, I love this. I was confronting my friends, like, you have to. I'm not saying that you should not spend. Like, just try to don't inconvenience yourself mm, at the expense of pleasing someone. Exactly. Else. That is what. Ah, I've learned my lesson. So, <laughs> so I, so I. There was a time I even emptied my account, but we'll get to that. <laughs> so oh, wow. I, it was deep. So I spent like eight thousand plus, and uh, with what my friends were telling me, I didn't miss him. Miss him. <laughs> so. I went to give her okay. room and then she actually appreciated it. Like, Aww. of course, of course she will. Like, oh, thank you very much. I appreciate. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that was all. Anyway, that was all. A shop way? That was all. Hmm. And what's your similar no breeze? What were you expecting? That was all in the sense that. She didn't, she didn't um, give you gift or the relationship? And the spirit with me. Wow. Not even... Nothing, nothing, nothing little She gave all. me something. Okay. Ah, ah. And you said that was all. But that was not a gift to me. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it, John. She gave you something. What did she, she give you? She gave me something, actually. What, what did she give you? <laughs> ah. What did she give you, man of God? <laughs> but can you say it? She gave me a boxer. Wow. She gave me boxer. She tried. Not pack. Just one. A boxer. It's, see, it's not the size that matters. <laughs> <laughs> and the boxer don't even size me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's what the problem is. <laughs> it's the art behind it that matters, but they are moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so I, when I saw it, I was like, <laughs> you know, I'm a very calm person. So I chill. I have to calm down. That maybe. It was a prank. <laughs> I was thinking maybe it was a prank. Maybe what? something big will still come. <laughs> something huge is coming. From my fellow people. Maybe it's still coming now. Nothing. You don't know. You might, you might wake up tomorrow to a call Nothing from came out. That, that Valentine from so 2018. <laughs> so I couldn't tell my friends. Wow. Of course. So, and they were asking you. me. Mm. Guy, what did she give you? What did she give you? I said, oh, well, she gave me a lot of things, you know. Just so to cover my Wait, God, <laughs> just so to cover my mess. But actually, there's this added that says uh, it is not in the material, it is the heart. Of course. But it is the heart that matters. That's the life. Let's be <laughs> <Let's be safe. laughs> if you if you spend fifteen K now and you get me a gift on my birthday and on your bed I just post the king was born today. It's not about gift, it's the art. See, there's what we call sacrifice. I was actually just joking, please. <laughs> Don't take it personal. Well, I did that and then... That went. You know, we settled that and I didn't react. I was happy. Oh, thank you very much for buying me this precious gift. I appreciate it. I was crying inside. I was like, oh, well, you won't go see that. You won't go see that. But then, so... After that, some things you know, began to happen. Like misunderstanding is normal, right? Mm -hmm. Misunderstanding and then and then we were quarreling. You mm. know. I don't know. I don't know. I <laughs> was very very tough. I was thinking that was going on from like, apart, yeah. Eh? From apart, the misunderstanding started from apart. Exactly. Or it was and even my own too. So I was. I started like, what's going on? I, I couldn't pinpoint what exactly was wrong. Mm. So I was like, ah. well, I don't know. So, on low ground, she. Why so? <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really down. We were so close, no, but during that time, there was still misunderstanding. But we, you know, set to it. Like every week, there will be a misunderstanding. Mm. Every week. So one day, I had a dream, I had a dream, 
and then um, in that dream, Joseph, so in, that yeah, dream nice. in that dream, in that dream, in that dream, I had a dream that mm. we're not compatible. Wow. That was the summary of the dream. I were not compatible, and I can't be dating someone that um, I won't know. There won't be. There will not be a destination. Mm. I can't. I can't be dating for fun. So, actually, she was part of people that you know make my made my Christianity more reasonable. Maybe that was even a purpose in your life. Just to strengthen your spirituality. So I became more strengthened in Christ. And not for relationships. I found my purpose. I became more strengthened Maybe that was a purpose in your life. Let me finish. <laughs> now my child there, <laughs> waiting, waiting. So, so I became more, you know, purposeful. Let me say that way. Okay. I, lovable, you know, in Christ. So, I had a dream that we were not compatible and I told her. But the mistake I made was that I did not think about it. I did not pray about it. Before telling her. Before telling her. Okay. So I assumed that the dream. What says am I praying for? The, am I praying to change the dream? Mm. I just went to tell her. You directed the power of prayer. The so of prayer. I, I, I went to tell her. I told her that I had a dream. So okay, fine. What's about the dream? Yeah. I said um, that in some of the dreams that we're not compatible. I said, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what next? I said. Just let us give ourselves space for some time so that That's I can really take steps. No, <laughs> it's not you, it's me. <laughs> let us give ourselves space so that I can know the meaning of this dream. Mm. Let me seek God. Mm. So she said, Is that what you want? Mm. Ah, if a girl tells you that, is that what you want? If a girl tells you that, is that what you want? I don't know about that. I don't know what to say. So, <laughs> so she said, Is that what you want? I said, what do you mean by is that what I want? You just said it. Is that what you want? I said, okay. Just a space. Let's, let us just take a break. And I said, okay, no problem. It was on call, not face face. Was. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, no problem. And we went there the call. After three days, I called back. And I said, let's come back together. Wow. I guess someone was missing us so bad. After three days. How many hours? Emphasis like 72 on three hours, days. yeah. Okay. Emphasis on three days. At the door. <laughs> After Kings. three days. Three days. I called back. The person has so much love. The person I've invested. Let me, I'm, let me put that word invested on. The person has so much. I've done a lot of things. After three days. Not five days. Not one week. Three days. I called back. King in the potter, potter. That I wanted her back. And she said she has moved on. Wow. She said she has moved on after wow. three days. Wow. Okay. So I was like. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? So I, I checked my phone and like. Like, what did you say? Wrong number of words. Uh, she doesn't know it's me. What's going I have on? moved on. Moved on to where? From why? <laughs> from, 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 I don't know what to say. I, I, do you moved know why? You moved on from your place, <laughs> from your house like, to another place. Uh -huh. In what sense? <laughs> I want to understand something. Move on to where? She said she has moved on. Wow. I said, ah. I, I was speechless actually. It was discombobulated. So. I was speaking, I ended the call. And immediately I started you know, crying, bursting into tears, and then I was destabilized, I was frustrated. Wow. I can only imagine. I was frustrated. So I thought I would, you have moved on. Okay, three days. Then you come back now. Mm. I trust. I love. Uh, mm. <laughs> come back. When you feel lonely, you come back to me. So, Look at that. first day, she didn't come back. Second day, third day, fourth day, hmm. one week, two weeks, three weeks. No way home. <laughs> Four weeks. One month. Wow. She didn't call me. Still no way home. I became depressed. Wow. Because I was thinking in my mind, every time, she will come back. She will come back. She will come back. Because I still love her. Mm. 
But one month, she did not call. I called her. I asked her again. I said I want to come. I said, she said, I have moved on. Are you are you joking? So joking, are you whining me right now? You have moved on within three days. Don't play crack now. I'm sorry. I just have to. I'm, I'm sorry. If it's a joke, please stop. I'm it. sorry. She said she, she has moved on. I was depressed. I've never felt depression. I've never tasted depression. Hmm. When people do tell me that I'm depressed, I'll say that. Depressed. You are depressed. My friend, go and sit down somewhere. So I've never felt depression. Mm. I, I don't know how it feels. There's a difference between imagination and experience. Mm, of course. I'm a poet. I write about those that are depressed. Well, I imagine. Man, but now I have, that I've experienced it, I know what it is. So I was depressed. Yeah. I was depressed. So that was the beginning of the depression. Okay, so the depression lasted for how long exactly? Ah, it lasted for one month and weeks. One month and weeks. So wow. So how were you able to come out of this state of depression? How were you able to overcome it? Was there any point you felt suicidal? Because most depressed people often get, you know, suicidal. They they they, they tend to get very violent to themselves. Sometimes they hurt themselves. They get aggressive. So, did you ever experience any of that? I was very aggressive on myself. On I, yourself or to other people as well? To myself. Just yourself? Exactly. Okay. You know, crying every night. You know, I was, un I, I was unable to write okay. anything. And I, as I a lost, poet, that's a big Exactly. Big exactly. A poet, a scriptwriter. Exactly. And Even though he didn't tell you guys, I'm telling you now. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> and I, was, I was unable to write scripts. I was unable to write poems, I was able to write short stories, I was able to submit for context, I was able to teach, because I teach poetry, I teach people, I dream people how to write poems. I was able to teach on WhatsApp, so I was just so empty, I was unable to listen to messages. Ah! Was there was a time I was listening to Apostle Arome, mm, and the memories just, just dropped, back. and I hope, I can never forget, and I hope the message, and I started crying. Wow, that's a lot. So during the, that period, what exactly did you do? Is it that you surrounded yourself with friends or you eventually went back to God? How exactly did you overcome that stage of depression? Yes. <clears throat> you know, when you are depressed, of course you will know. Mm. The first thing is to forgive. Mm. Forgive yourself or the person? Forgive the person. Okay. Because while I was depressed, I was cursing the person. I was cursing. Came with a lot, a lot of resentment. A, a, a lot. Mm. Because I was like, she was even saying that I don't know her what. Wow. So I was, I was very bitter. So I forgive her. And then I forgive myself too. And I realized that I was broken. Because mm. if you don't realize that you are depressed, that you are broken, you won't be able to. Teach yourself and in love. Exactly. You just say that I'm not broken, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Okay. You keep on struggling, isn't it? In fact, it's never fix yourself because you can't fix yourself. It's allow God fix you because it's only God that can fix a broken person. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And after that, you know, I I was able to, you know, be among um, I call them um, good vibes people, mm -hmm. men of God. The circle of friends. The circle of friends, you know. And then the Bible says, "Do not forsake the Garden of Bread." Then mm. I was going to conference. <laughs> That's why I brought this book. No wonder I met you in the conference. This is this book, eh? The very first time I met him was in the conference room, actually. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this is this book, eh? A lot of conferences. A lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things. Mm. Wow. So, guys, it's been a lot, and you've heard it from him first, and that you can be depressed even in your relationship. And um, what advice do you have to give people out there who are probably currently in this, in this stage? They are currently where you were and they are battling with depression as a result of their relationship or whatever. What, what, what would you say to them? Healing mm. comes from God. Mm. If you want to be healed from any 
kind of in your depression state be close to god mm. be close to god it is very very important because even though i was close to god i found out that i was not even close to god you're still far away exactly something was missing mm. something was missing and i was broken <sighs> within my brokenness you know that's all, that was why i believe that um we pass through these things to know mm. god more in every area of it's our life, in every, exactly, in every challenge, in every problem that we go through, there is always a lesson. Mm. God is you know, making you. That's why, if I've not passed with that, I won't be here. Mm. I won't be able to talk to other people about it. About it. Mm. Like, this is how I overcame it. This is how. But no God for yourself. That is important. No God. Nobody can. It's not about hot or cold. No, no, <laughs> no all right, guys. So, so far, so good. So far, so interesting. From what is said since it started, I've been able to pick that before you go into any relationship at all, seek God's consent. What is God saying about the relationship? Don't go into the relationship because you feel like you, you are due for one. It is not yours to tell, it is God's to decide. So don't go into a relationship because you feel like you are due for one. Don't go into a relationship because every other people, every other person around you is going into a relationship. Don't don't let it come out as a result of peer pressure. Seek God and get His direction, get His leading. Single until God says move. If God is not saying move, enjoy your state of singleness because God put you there, and when the time is right, He's going to call you out of it. And also, I I also learned that even while you are in your relationship, you should still carry God along because. God should be the standard. God should be the standard. It should not be according to your own leading. It should not be according to your own direction. Carry God along regardless. And then finally, when you eat rock bottom, the only way up, the only way out is up. The only way out is to move up, not to remain there, not to keep going down, but to struggle to come back up. And it is only God that can help you at that point. So no matter how distant, no matter how hard it feels, like, oh, I don't want to go to church, I just want to be alone, I don't want to talk to people, you should still try your best to make that space for God and don't ever move God out of it. So per adventure, you are watching this video and you are currently going through depression in any form at all. I pray now that God will heal you. I pray that God will pull you out of it. You will not say amen. Amen, amen. I pray that God will heal you. God will pull you out of it. You will amen. come out strong. Amen. You will come out better. Amen. And that depression will not overpower you amen. in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Ah, okay. Before we go, you know the Bible says God is love. Mm. And if you have God, you have love. That's right. So love yourself first. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You have to love yourself. That's very important. Because if you don't love yourself, you won't understand your worth. And then it will feel so... So every little thing that a person does, you feel like, ah, so I, I really deserve this. Exactly. I really deserve this. But if you already know your worth, you will know that you are deserving of every love that comes your way. So thank you very much, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy watching it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to drop comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to. Turn on your bell. We're already losing light. This is about past seven. What's the time now? Yeah, past seven. Yeah. Yeah, this is 7.04. We're already losing light. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Till we meet again in my next video, remember that Jesus loves you and so do I. And there is nothing you can do about it because I love you already. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. Tell them bye. Three days. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Three days.